Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video. A very sad one, I'm afraid. Because we were playing, uh, we have played against uh, One September Rain. As you can see, they, well, they uh, started playing with, uh, with this team, with these defenders that I had not spotted before. And, and these guys are just massive. As you can see, 5 stars, 25, 5 stars, 20.3. I don't know where they pop out from, but um, yeah, they were way stronger than expected, to be honest. And unfortunately, in the end, the final score was 1-0 uh, for them. But I think we were, anyway, able to keep up with them in a decent way, and... I am pretty sure that in the near future we'll be improving a lot thanks to the experience we're building up and thanks to the fact that quite possibly Acosta, who's now disqualified apparently, but quite possibly Acosta will be replaced by a stronger player. And why not? Let's see for the next season if it's the case to replace uh, Olivieri with a younger goalkeeper too. But we already have the replacement for Acosta. We're just I'm just waiting for him to to improve his experience because at the moment it is way too low. Uh, we don't have a replacement for Olivieri at the moment though, so we'll have to wait and see what happens, and quite possibly look out for uh, for bargains. But let's get back to the game itself. So 1-0 was the final score for one September rain, so they won 1-0, 53% ball possession for them, 47% ball possession for us, and then 4 shots on target for them, 3 shots on target for us, uh, 7 set pieces for them, 3 set pieces for us, of course this is down to the ball possession, and 2 yellow cards per side. Unfortunately this means that Acosta will be disqualified, and we'll have to uh, play without him uh, the the next time around. It's going to be relatively tough to find a replacement, though. I'm afraid, because we don't really have a player who can replace him. We'll probably go either for Brianza or a B team player, but we'll see tomorrow what. Uh, well, in a two in two days, what happens? So back to the standings. Now we're six points away from the top, but we're just three points away from the second position, which is still something we can uh, we can aim at, in my opinion. And then we are ten points away from the eleventh position, and this is not good because uh, they're way closer now. They are way way closer than they used to be after these two disasters or probably three disasters we've had uh, lately in terms of points so yeah dissatisfying but at the same time we're still building up experience in particular with Hudacek who in my opinion is just a monster and he's increasing his productivity more and more every year and every game uh, I like him a lot. Uh, Napoli's doing the same, and Vario Pinto and Bolzi are doing the same too. So the the two central midfielders. I'm relatively disappointed with Magari, but of course he's got lower skills than the other four I've just mentioned. So uh, he'll just increase his experience, and he'll probably be improving steadily too. Uh, not as fast as the others quite possibly but he'll still give his contribution in my opinion a, a good one uh, either this season or the next one maximum so guys I think that was it for today uh, sort of disappointing video but yeah that's uh, that's what happened and we cannot change it right now so we have to try and um, and make the effort to win the next one so guys thanks again for watching and see you in the next video bye bye